of woke. I want to say that I've seen this already, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm delirious. It's getting changed, but language is always evolving. And bless this food to our use, a woman. Now there you, are gender okay. words that naturally should change, like police man should just be police officer. But there's a okay. difference between gendered words and non-gendered words. And I'm trying to remove that difference so that we can be one step closer to getting offended by everything. For example, <laughs> master bedroom. Now this one's interesting because it was first created by Sears as part of a marketing campaign in the 1920s and has zero <laughs> ties to slavery or racism. But by making it about race, we offer more people the opportunity to get offended. A big part of this <laughs> is trying to avoid masculinity as much as humanly possible. I mean, as much as you woman possible like oh, fun guy, don't which say has that guy right there in the word so we're walking around saying guy guy fun guy fun guy and nobody realizes that we're just walking around talking about mushrooms while at the same time unknowingly exfoliating this toxic masculinity so from now on i propose that we call fun guy fundrogeny they're not homeless <laughs> temporarily <laughs> displaced or housing challenged boom crisis solved in order for language to evolve to be as inclusive as possible, it needs to kind of not make sense for a while. Dickies jeans are now vaginies jeans, which is why we're not calling them Easter eggs anymore. We're calling them spring spheres because we want to be inclusive to people who don't celebrate Easter. And we also want to be inclusive to people who don't believe in eggs. And all of Charles Dickens books should be reprinted as written by Charles Uterus. Menu is now womenu. The country of Yemen, now the country of, yeah, woman. Praying mantis is now a praying womantis. Or for people who don't pray, they can call it a meditating womantis. Look, language is art. And just like with art, every individual person can have a different interpretation about a word and can choose to be offended by that word in a different way. Of course, a Dementor should now be a D-Womentor. Not all Dementors are male. We can no longer call it masturbation. We must now call it primary -bation. He must change it to Dennis Rod Woman, which at a time wasn't that far off. <laughs> Look, we all have a choice in this life, and I choose to be offended by words. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's a funny meme. Hey, I was just staring at my digital devices getting as much blue light as I possibly can. Because when I'm wearing blue blocks, that blue yes. light can't mess with my vibe. You guys might've heard about blue light, but did you know that studies have shown blue light has a negative impact on your melatonin production? Interrupting oh. your body's natural melatonin production can mess up your sleep cycle. For me, that used to happen all the time. I would go to sleep. That's probably why I'm still awake. Guess what? I ordered these glasses so i can't wait till they come in they're supposed to come in next week i think so i am so psyched my mind would be racing i'd be up for hours on end thinking about all kinds of crazy stuff like my yeah. ex-girlfriend no <laughs> but when i started wearing blue blocks day and night my sleep cycle reverted back to normal Blue Blocks has all kinds of options for awesome protective eyewear that'll help you optimize your sleep cycle. Like these Summer Glow, which I wear in the evenings, or the Clear Wayfarers that you can use during the day, or the Sleep Plus, which eliminates 100% of blue and green light. Blue Blocks yes, also has a really awesome way. sleep mask that you can use whenever you want to block out the world. Head to blueblocks.com <laughs> slash Brent day. and use promo code BRENT for 15% off your purchase. Nice. Also cruise to the Blue Blocks website and check out all the information that they have about the negative impacts of blue light. It'll help you sleep better and it'll help me sleep better knowing that you're sleeping better. Yes, that makes sense. Go subscribe to him. He's hilarious. Get, I'm gonna, I already ordered them, so you guys are gonna see me rocking those glasses because I should not be up at 2.17. I should be asleep, like my kids. So, I am actually gonna try to get some sleep now because I am hysterically delirious, okay? And I need rest. Yeah. Okay, I hope you guys have a great Saturday.